In this video, I am going to show you how to do the unboxing and a complete setup of HP DexJet 2842E all-in-one printer. So let's start the unboxing. This printer comes with the manual. It also has some other information. One power cable, two setup in cartridges. Both are black and color, and that is 67 ink. That is our printer. Remove the plastic packaging and then remove the seal. So open the front door and remove these. Now close the ink chamber and door. Lift this lid and remove this packaging. Next step is to plug in the power cable. So plug it in at the back of the printer. Now go to the printer control panel. Once the light is stable, we have to install the setup in cartridges. Open the front chamber and there is one more door behind it. Just lift it and it will open. Take the ink cartridges out of the plastic packaging. For the initial setup, we have to install both setup ink cartridges. Also remove the orange seal. The black will go on this side. And then the color on this side. Once you hear the lock sound, that means it is installed properly. Close this chamber. Next step is to load the paper. Lift this tray and adjust the size load A4 size or letter size paper go to the printer display panel so we have installed the ink so it should display full ink on the control panel Paper is also installed. Automatically it will start the print head alignment. Place this page here like this on this corner. Click any one button, color button or black button and it will start the scanning of the alignment page. Scanning is done. Now we can discard this paper. Next step is to connect this printer with the home or office Wi-Fi network for wireless printing and scanning. If you see that blue light is flashing, that means printer is in the setup mode. Go to your smartphone and open the HP Smart App. You can download this app from the App Store. To add the printer, click on the printer icon on the top. Select set up a new printer. On the next screen, select DexJet 2800 series. Make sure your smartphone is connected to the Wi-Fi network. Automatically it will display your Wi-Fi and you just have to enter its password. And then click on the continue. Press the flashing information button on the printer control panel. Printer is connected to the Wi-Fi network. Click continue. Select all printing services.
next is install cartridge and paper so we have already done it on the next page it will ask you to enter the printer pin to enter the printer pin just open the ink chamber again at this door in this level you will see there is pin number written there with a lock sign in front enter that pin number and then click on the submit now close this door on the next page it will ask you to activate the HP plus if you want you can do that or you can just select do not activate HP plus you can decline it on the next step select printer dynamic security notice so click on the continue if you have a HP account you can just sign in or activate it or you can skip the account activation You can also join two months of ink delivery that is the instant ink offer if you don't want to enable it click on the do not enable ink delivery skip offer for printer updates you can select auto updates click apply so let's do a test print That is the welcome sheet. Printer is connected. If you want, you can send link to other devices or you can click on the skip sending link. Confirm it. In the app, we can see our printer with estimated level of ink. So we can start using it for wireless printing and scanning. Let's do a test print. Select any document, any email or photo you want to print. Click on the print preview. It will display your printer. If you don't see it, click on it and you can just add printer there and click on the print icon. So let's check the printing. Click on the done. Let's do a scanning. For scanning, we can open the lid and place the page here like this. Close the lid. Go to the app and click on the printer scan or you can click on the scan icon. On the next screen, if you want to make any changes, you can do that. Click on the setting and click on the done. Now click on the scan icon. If you are scanning a photo, you can select photo. scan is done and it is transferred here if you want you can adjust the size and then click on the next you can also save it or share it if you want to add more pages you can open the lid place the second page you want to scan facing down click on the add button on the top and click on the scan and here it will give you the number of scans stored in this file so you can do the multiple scanning in this method
so that is our second page click on the next so both pages are here and now I'm going to save it you can also give a name to the file and you can select as a basic PDF actual size return continue select the location save to files or any other place and then click on the save icon let's do a copy test for copy you simply place a page here if you want to do the color you can click on the color button or black and white you can click on the gray button so click it once it will do the one copy <clears throat> that's the complete setup of the printer and we can start using it wirelessly with our home or office Wi-Fi network with a smartphone in the same way you can also use it with your MacBook or laptop if you want to know how to set up with your MacBook or Windows then you can just watch my video on that thanks for watching